In Lesson 8.4, you will multiply and divide rational expressions. Here we're going to simplify a rational expression. Rational means fractional, so we're really just simplifying a fraction. And to do that, we want to cancel like factors, numerator and denominator, top and bottom. So we'll factor our polynomials in the numerator and the denominator and look for like factors that we can cancel. There's a trinomial in the numerator of this rational expression or fraction, so we'll factor that into a binomial times a binomial. So we need factors of x squared first. x times x is x squared. Then we need factors of 6 that have a difference of 5. So that's going to be 6 and 1. And we'll make the 6 negative and the 1 positive so that, pos so that positive 1x added to negative 6x will give us negative 5x in the middle. And negative 6 times positive 1 is negative 6. So it checks, those are the correct factors of that trinomial. And now in the denominator, we have the difference of two perfect squares. That's going to factor into a binomial times a binomial. The sum and difference are the square roots of those two terms. So the square root of x squared is x, and x times x is x squared. The square root of 1 is 1, and negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Now the middle term would be negative 1x plus positive 1x, but that sums to 0, and that's why there's no middle term in this binomial. Okay, now that it's completely factored top and bottom, we can cancel x plus 1, like factors top and bottom, and all we're left with then is x minus 6 over x minus 1. So that's what that rational expression simplifies to. Okay, here we're going to multiply rational expressions, and so we're multiplying fractions, and when we do that, we multiply numerators and multiply denominators, and then simplify the result if possible. So if I multiply across uh, in this first example, I'm going to have 6 times 10, which is 60. I'm going to have how many factors of x? 2 and 3, that's a total of 5 factors of x. When we're multiplying like bases, remember we add exponents. So then I have 3 factors of y and 4 factors of y. That's a total of 7 factors of y in the top. Now in the bottom I have 2 times 18, that's 36. And how many factors of x? Just 2. And how many factors of y in the bottom? 2 and 2, that's a total of 4. Okay, now looking for like factors top and bottom so that I can simplify this rational expression. I know that 12 goes into 60 and into 36. 12 goes into 65 times and into 36 three times. So I can cancel that factor of 12 top and bottom. Okay, and then when we're dividing like bases, we subtract exponents. So I would have x raised to the 5 minus 2 power which is x to the third power, and I had, would have y to the 7 minus 4 power, so that's y to the third power. So my final result is 5x cubed y cubed over 3, or I could write it as 5 thirds x cubed y cubed. Either way would be acceptable. Okay, in the second problem here, we're multiplying, and since we have one fraction, we would create a, another fraction of the second uh, expression. And now, in order to multiply uh, across top and bottom, we would want to first factor and look for like factors top and bottom that we could cancel so that when we multiply across, we have our result in simplest form. Okay, so x plus 2 in the numerator of the first expression doesn't factor further, but in the denominator we have the sum of two perfect cubes. That's going to factor into a binomial times a trinomial. The binomial would be the cube root of that first term, and that would be 3x, because 3x times itself three times would give us 27x cubed. We need the cube root of 8, which is 2, 
because 2 times itself 3 times is 8. Now to get the trinomial, remember we um, multiply the first term in the binomial to itself, so we get 9x squared. Then we multiply the two terms together and get 6x, but we change a sign for the middle term in our trinomial, so we get negative 6x. And then to get the third term, we multiply the second term in the binomial to itself. So 2 times 2 would give us 4. Okay, and now when I look at the second expression here, I have 9x squared minus 6x plus 4 in the numerator. Well, that's what I just factored in the denominator, so I can cancel that trinomial top and bottom. And now multiplying across, I have x plus 2 in the top and 3x plus 2 in the bottom. And those binomials are different, so we're done uh, simplifying. We're done multiplying and simplifying. This is our result. Okay, now we're going to divide rational expressions. Rational expressions are fractions, and we don't divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal instead. So in the first step, I'm going to invert that second fraction and multiply it to the first. So I have x squared plus x minus 6 in the top, and x squared plus 3x in the bottom. Okay, and now remember before we multiply across with all of these polynomials, um, top and bottom, we want to factor and look for like factors top and bottom that we can cancel. So in this first expression, 4x minus 8 in the denominator has a common factor of uh, 4, a greatest common factor of 4 that I'll factor out so that I'm left with x minus 2. Remember, you can always check by distributing. 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Okay, now the second rational expression, there's a trinomial in the numerator, so that should factor into a binomial times a binomial. So factors of x squared go first, x times x, and then we need factors of 6 that have a difference of 1. Well, that's going to be 3 and 2, and we need to make the 3 positive and the 2 negative so that negative 2x plus positive 3x is positive 1x in the middle, and negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6, so that checks. In the denominator, we have a binomial again with a greatest common factor of x, so we'll factor that out, leaving x plus 3, and check by distributing x times x is x squared, and x times 3 is 3x. Okay, now that everything's factored top and bottom, we can cancel like factors. We have an x minus 2 top and bottom, and we have an x plus 3 top and bottom. So now when we multiply across, we just have a factor of 3 in the top, and in the bottom we have a factor of 4 and a factor of x. So our result is 3 over 4x. Okay, in the second problem, we're dividing, but again, because we have one fraction, we'll create another fraction from this ex second expression, and we don't divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal instead. So again, I'm going to invert that second fraction and multiply it to the first. So I have 1 over 4x squared minus x. And now I factor top and bottom. I have a trinomial in the top of this first rational expression, so I'll factor that into a binomial times a binomial. Factors of 8x squared could be 8x times 1x or 4x times 2x, and I'm going to try 4x times 2x first. If that doesn't work, I'll have to uh, change uh, those factors. Okay, the only factors of 3 are 3 and 1. And if I put the 3 here and the 1 here, I'd have 6x plus 4x. Well, I need a difference, though, so uh, I'm probably going to have to put the 3 here and the 1 here so that I have 2x added to 12x to get 10x in the middle. So I'll make the 12x positive and the 2x negative, and then that way, negative 2x plus positive 12x is positive 10x in the middle, 
and negative 1 times positive 3 is negative 3. So with a little guessing and checking, those are the correct factors of that trinomial. And in the denominator, it's just a product. There's no sum or difference to factor. Okay, and in the second fraction, or rational expression, in the denominator, it's a binomial with the greatest common factor of x. So I'll factor that out, leaving 4x minus 1 because x times 4x is 4x squared and x times negative 1 is negative x. Okay, completely factored. So now I can cancel a like factor of 4x minus 1 top and bottom. Nothing else cancels top and bottom, no other forms of 1 to get rid of. So in the numerator I have 2x plus 3 and in the denominator I have 4x cubed. So that would be my result, my quotient in simplest form. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems 2 through 12 even on pages 574, 576, and 577 of your textbook.